I got to do a couple of quick uh, voiceovers. I know we're, over, we're running a little bit over, but I appreciate it. I'll tell you my so fascinating there. Major League Rugby Roger Moore fact. There is one. There's a Roger Moore. Not really a Roger Moore fact, but The Sea Wolves. Right. Is the name of a really bad Roger Moore film from 1980. Really? One of my favorite bad ones. And there's the best non Bond film Good. made in the 70s. It's called Gold. We're looking right there, fellas. We're going to talk about this on the next show. Coming up next on Rugby Wrap Up Major League Rugby Talk. Brought to you by Friends of the British Council. Everybody, welcome back to Rugby Wrap-Up. Matt McCarthy at the Fantasy Sports Network, Studio 34 in New York City, talking rugby. And ladies and gentlemen, we just don't talk rugby here in the studio. We go out in the streets. We go out in the countryside. We go all over the place. And here's an example of just that. I'm Ronan Nelson interviewing Pete Steinberg here at Toro Stadium in San Diego, California after the inaugural Major League Rugby Championship Series Final. Seattle Sea Wolves take 23-19 victory. What was it like calling today's match? Well, I mean, it was a really great game. Very tight. Major League Rugby has been a very competitive season. I think there's probably like two blowouts, which is really unbelievable. But I think probably one of the knocks against it has been the quality of the defense. And I think both teams brought great defenses today. And so I think it was a very high quality game. What was it like this first inaugural year of Major League Rugby for you as a commentator? What did it feel like being able to be part of that initial season? Yeah, you know, this is early for me. This is the start of a new career. I just retired from coaching last year. I'm 47, so retiring from anything seems a little early. And I'm sure I'll go back to coaching. But to me, it was an amazing opportunity to learn a new craft as a commentator, to have every week to do it again. Um, I actually took my coaching mindset to it and I would watch the, my I would watch my games, I would make notes, I would send it to the producer, she would come back to me um, and I didn't realize how much work there was. So for me, amazing opportunity and really appreciate MLR um, for giving it to me. You know, what I've heard is from CBS Sports, we're the highest rated sport on the network, which is amazing. Um, so, so many, so many good things that happen. I think, I think the real challenge is for some of these teams, there was such a scramble to get the team on the pitch that they're not as well prepared as maybe they would like to be to think about what's next. There's a lot of work for these teams to do in the off season. Ray, you're a Canadian hooker in the United States. You just won the American rugby equivalent of the Stanley Cup. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I but don't you know can't drink at it. Well, I don't know if I'm going Ovi on this one. Uh, I'll try, I guess. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's very special to do it, um, obviously, with a, a new league and our organization, our team. The whole league has been successful, fun, enjoyable. Uh, I'm speechless. Seriously, thrilling, thrilling victory. You have worked so hard you're a hooker it's a difficult position it's not something it's not playing on the wing which i hey, in rugby any position is a tough position but you've been at it for a long time how does this feel for you um jubilation like it i mean to put in that work it's been a long tough uh couple of years just playing rugby in general you know, i mean uh, whether it's nationally or club or, or um, Canada A tours, whatever it be, uh, even Sacramento. Um, not getting results sometimes, so to come out this season, be successful winning, but to win a, a championship and win it on the first year, um, you, you write historical things down and uh, you want to put a stamp on something. Uh, I, when I'm 75 years old watching this. Rugby, and, in hooker years. In hooker years, uh, I'll, be, I'll be proud to say I was there for that first year and was successful in winning with a great group of guys and, and ownership. But you know what, you're, you're relatively unscathed for your position, and you're in basically every single play, arguably, in the match. How do you explain that? Are you, do, you, do you just know what you're doing better? Uh, I mean, being older, you, you start learning the game a lot better. You play a lot of rugby, you know where to go. Um, I just There's two things I look at, um, being an educator. It's just having a positive attitude and, and effort that to want to be into everything and, and to be focused on doing whatever it is at that moment. And it might be hitting clearing rocks, it might be chopping low tackles, it might happen to be sticking your head into places you don't want to stick it into. But um, those are the sacrifices, those are the things, I mean, 
good fans and coaches realize guys like yourself you see the the things it's not always about scoring tries sometimes it's about setting it up to, for the guy who's on the wing to score the try uh, and I'll take you know, I mean uh, the pats on the back from those boys because they know when, when guys do the little things sometimes yeah I, I, I watch you guys and you know I was a, a forward in a back's body and sucked I'll say that <laughs> I sucked uh, and watching guys like you out there just punishing yourself and getting up and running back into position over and over again is a thrill and I you know it's just watching you was great uh, no thank you uh, uh, compliments like that are uh are amazing. Um, I, I hold them pretty close to to my heart. You're a well-known person in, in rugby in, in North America. Um, you're a fun guy who's, who's spreading the good word of making this sport amazing and in, in between our, both our countries. Uh, and I mean, I, you're you're Stuart. For well, that, I got to so. cut. I got to cut you short because there's no way I'm going to get away with allowing you after winning the championship to compliment me. So that's that's not going to fly. I'm Canadian. What do you but, expect? But let me ask. <laughs> let me ask you this. Let me ask you this because you know lacrosse. It's yep. a Canadian sport as well, right? The, it's it's our actually like national sport. What's the more insane position, lacrosse goalie or hooker in rugby? Um, I'll have to put rugby on this one. Uh, at least you got a helmet on. I, I walk in with no helmet. It's right up there with the <laughs> ice hockey goalie without a mask. I don't know. Uh, I'll take defenseman in hockey and playoffs. <laughs> you see uh, what those yeah. guys take slap well, you know, shots. No, no, and you got to go like t Craig McTavish, no helmet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, Taking yeah, pucks yeah. off the face, knocking 10 jibs out, and going back yeah. on the ice. I mean, if I could have sold my soul for any other uh, sport, it would obviously be hockey, yeah, but yeah. I'm pretty sure to take rugby any day of the week. And hockey guys give us just as much respect uh, as much as we give them respect back home. Controversial question yeah. for you. Chirana yeah. has a team next year. Yeah. What, 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 what's up? Uh, I mean, I mean, as a, as a Canadian, we want to get obviously and we wanted to help develop our young players we want to get in because it's exciting rugby and, and we want to have a professional team that's union spreading the good word i mean amongst our country uh i'd love to see toronto get in um that doesn't mean i i go there and play there or anything but I, i'd love to see that opportunity for friends foes uh in, in rugby in our, in our country so next year could you see yourself squaring off as a seawolf against a toronto arrow Ah, absolutely. When I came into the league, I, I looked at, I mean, where was opportunities, where were great places. I, I sat down last July and, and came down to Seattle to see what it was about and see about the community, um, the things we do with Special Olympics, the, the, I mean, the veterans, all those good things. Those are the things that, um, I mean, I liked about rugby and being part of a community. And so that we made Seattle very easy to choose. Now, when it comes between those two teams, um, I mean, I just walked off winning, and I'm, I'm like I'm tell you what I've been with a class group of guys. We have fun. We we got all nicknames, jokes aside. All right, well, friend, I, I, I thank you for your time. You guys are you're awesome. You gotta go celebrate with your buddies. I really appreciate you coming on. Oh, thanks, Mike. All right, appreciate it. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, the. Canadian hooker in the United States that uh, is actually legal. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did, and we are out of time on this segment of Rugby Wrap-Up. I'm Matt McCarthy at the Fantasy Sports Network, Studio 34 in New York City, signing off. <laughs>